Schools in Terrebonne Parish are going to start phased openings next week, a month after Hurricane Ida forced students and teachers out of their classrooms. Well, when they return, it'll be a bit different than before the storm, but as Mike McDaniel explains, folks in the community are helping to make that transition a bit easier. The front doors at Homa Junior High School are set to reopen September 27th, a full month after Hurricane Ida ripped off the roof, leaving water damage on both floors. You know, you got all the ceiling tile, all the drywall, it's all got to come out. The school is one of 13 within the Terrebonne Parish School District set to reopen Monday, part of phase one in getting kids back in the classroom. But there's still a lot of work to do as crews clean and repair. This is all temporary mitigation, temporary uh, fixes. Superintendent Philip Martin says all 34 districts have some type of damage. The severity determines what phase a school will reopen. The damage is so bad at South Terrebonne High School, students will be sent to HL Bourgeois High School, 13 miles away in Gray. It's absolutely heartbreaking. To help make the transition into the classroom a little less stressful, Allie Casey is turning her HOMA-based online school supply business, Schoolplies, into a virtual back-to-school drive. The hurricane damaged her warehouse, sidelining her ability to sell and ship. So she's shifting focus. We had tons of supplies left over, and we can't get it out of HOMA. We have the inventory right there in HOMA. It only makes sense to put it back into our area and get our kids back in school. Casey is now partnering with organizations like the United Way, turning that inventory into back to school kits and a school supply giveaway happening this weekend for students in Terrebonne and Lafouche parishes. You have your pencils, your crayons, your supply box. You're given a notebook, erasers, pencil sharpener, anything you really need on your first day of school. But it's not permanent. Martin says when the district's 17,600 students show up with supplies in hand, there will be challenges along the way. It will not be perfect and it will not be pretty, but we're going to have school. And with it, a pretty perfect way for some normalcy in a community that needs it. In Terrebonne Parish, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. To look at how the phased opening works and for information on that virtual school drive-in giveaway, we've got all that information with this story on our website, wwltv.com.